Hello, um, welcome back to Dumb Break. Today we're going to be doing a capacitor test with a uh, homemade, well not really homemade, lab made I guess, uh, dielectric out of activated carbon. Thank you Ampac Lab for helping us out with this. Um, and we're going to be using uh, all these materials here. We're going to be using this for our electrodes, this aluminum foil. We're going to be using this to measure our capacitance. This is some more dielectric. Um, this is our filter paper that we're going to be using as the uh, layer. So the ions can pass through, but the actual hydrochloric acid electrolyte that we're using will not. Um, this is only 10%, so hopefully the aluminum should hold up long enough for us to take some measurements with the capacitance meter. Uh, I'm going to be using this disposable syringe to put the hydrochloric acid onto this. And uh, hopefully we should get some good measurements. So this uh, activated carbon was produced in a nitrogen uh, gas furnace at about 500 degrees Celsius. Um, there are There's approximately 200 grams of material here or there was at least 200 grams of compost before it was burned, so now there's definitely a lot less. Um, So what happens when you pyrolyze things, which is what the process of burning in a nitrogen environment is called, or really burning anything scientifically, <laughs> is um, all the nitrates and the celluloses and a lot of the organic compounds that previously composed the plant matter, the organic matter from the compost, uh, gets destroyed. Uh, but the carbon, of course, isn't. So the rest of the stuff, the oxygen, the nitrogen, um, that comes off as gases, uh, nitrates, um, nitrogen dioxide, all that. It all burns up and becomes gas and is blown away by the nitrogen flow. But the carbon is not, and the carbon remains uh, mostly in the crystalline structure that it was before, that the plant matter had it composed as, uh, which is what, which is why it's called activated, because it has a really, really high surface area, because all the surfaces that had once been filled with all the organic compounds are no longer, uh, which is why it's really useful, because high surface area means you can do a lot of things with it. It means you can use it as a filter because um, ions and really, really small yet still dangerous things can get stuck inside the carbon, which is why you see activated carbon fish filters, uh, you see it inside of um, water filters, gas masks, uh, you also see it in blood dialysis machines, because um, a lot of things inside of blood can get filtered by activated carbon. Uh, but activated carbon also has a lot of uses uh, in electronics because capacitors, um, specifically double layer capacitors, need very high surface areas in order for um, the most uh, ions to be held in, uh, which is what holds the, electro the electric charge in the capacitor. So um, by having a high uh, surface area, you're able to store much more electrical charge, uh, which makes a better capacitor. There you go, I think that's just about ground up to, to the maximum. So now it should be very powdery, very fine. And then I'm going to put this inside of some capacitors, and we will see what we can get. Okay, so I've ground up all the uh, carbon, and I put it uh, inside of this filter paper capacitor electrode I've made. So underneath this is all the carbon, you can hear it in there. I've taped up the sides so it won't fall out, and um, this aluminum will act as the electrode, uh, with its gap being bridged by the carbon to this filter paper. And then when I'm ready, I will put the electrolyte, the uh, hydrochloric acid, here onto the filter paper, and then I will seal up the, uh, the other side with aluminum and more carbon, and then that'll be ready. Uh, to test the capacitance with the capacitance meter over there. So yeah, all goes well on the western front. Okay, so I've made three uh, electrode halves. Uh, so they've each got activated carbon in them, and they're all from the second batch of activated carbon we made. Um, 
So we're going to compare those to some industry activated carbon. We're going to buy from Petco in about uh, 15 minutes. So uh, we're going to see if the capacitance uh, and thus the surface area of these samples is comparable to the capacitance and surface area of uh, industry produced activated carbon, which is the point of the experiment. So yeah, those three are done. I'm going to start working on the other three uh, now. And yeah, get back to you when that's done. Okay, so now we have uh, we have actual industry activated carbon. We got <laughs> Marineland Premium. It's really nice stuff. It comes in these disgusting looking chunks, and you can just grind mm, grind it right up in there. And that oh, uh, and then that will be used for uh, for our other capacitors, which we're gonna yeah. make in a second. You, you tell them, Gabe. Okay, Gabe is making more. He's making more activated carbon over there. Well, he's grinding it up into powder. But in the meantime, we've completed half of the uh, capacitors with the industry standard activated carbon from Marine Life, M Marine Land. Sorry, Marine Land people. I said Marine Life. Oh well. Yeah. Now we're gonna put hydrochloric acid on it uh, once we've got them all ready. And yeah. Do they have chocolate in Syria, Sam? Um, they have cocoa puffs. I mean, that's kind of like. That's 